Okay. Good afternoon. I'm Masai Kiyosik from Tohoku University and Tokyo Institute of Technology. So I'd like to talk about uh, our activities of Tohoku University. The first, I say, is a good news. So, but uh, good news is uh, domestic, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but uh, uh, very important for us. So we um, selected as a member of the Quantum Information Innovation Hub. So Japanese government creates national quantum technology innovation strategy. So following this strategy, we are selected as a member of the Quantum Innovation Hub. So this is a top page of the web page of the um, Quantum Information Hub. So this selection is the result of the, our activities. So you know the Tohoku University creates many applications by use of the quantum annealing and with the D-Web systems. So, and uh, we say applications of the quantum annealer, we say the quantum solutions. So we create, continue to create quantum solutions from Tohoku University. The activity started since 2017. So we established a challenging group in Tokyo University and make a research network with Japanese companies. For example, today I'd like to talk about uh, our collaboration work with Noble Asset Management. And uh, we promote this activity as a joint research group in Tohoku University. So you know the well-known Japanese companies uh, um, create uh, quantum applications, you know, the Denso or something. So some companies, Kyocera, NDC Solution Innovators, and like that. So today, I'd like to talk about um, NDC Solution Innovators collaboration and the collaboration with uh, Mitsubishi Electrics. So first one is uh, normal asset management. The topic is on <coughs> quantitative equity strategy. So you want to get money. So then you prepare some data. So and from the data, we predict the score. So predicted returns from the stocks. And we optimize, so portfolio optimized. Optimization program, we, we want to solve the optimization problems to make a good portfolios for getting the returns and for reducing the risks. So then, in order to improve the prediction of scores, we get more data. But we have only a small number of the data set. So then we consider to data augmentation. So here is the web qubits. So we use the quantum annealing. So you know in this study what is the value of the sampling by use of the quantum annealer. So the second of topics is uh, optimization for better portfolio. So in, pre in practical, uh, they tend to perform portfolio optimization by use of the relaxation of the continuous variables. But we have quantum annealer. So directory solves uh, discrete problem, discrete optimization problem. So you see in this study what is the value of the optimization by use of the quantum annealer. So in the topics of the data augmentations, so we have some training set. So then we prepare the generative model to learn the initial data set, training data set. So then, for example, very simple model of the uh, generative model is well known, is Gaussian mixture models. This model has a peaks of the Gaussian distributions, and we collect and we select the best peaks to, to fit to the training data. The selection of peaks can be regarded as optimization problems uh, consisting on the, of the binary variables and the one hot constellation, constraint. So we generalize these gener gener generative models to, to the uh, rich distributions consisting of the Gibbs-Boltzmann distributions like this. So because we have a quantum annealer, so and we can get output from the quantum annealer, 
flowing to the Gibbs-Boltzmann distribution. So therefore, we can naturally generalize our model into the Gibbs-Boltzmann distributions, so which is more suitable for the quantum annealer. So this is a result. <coughs> so two-dimensional schematic picture of the data. So this is the original training data. And the generative models resembles the original data distributions. So this is a generative model, Gaussian mixture model. So and the other hand, this one is our model, extended Gaussian mixture model, following to the Gibbs-Boltzmann distributions. So but very similar figures. You cannot find any difference on this, these figures. But if you estimate distance between the model and training data, you can find difference. So our model is superior to the uh, original, original standard Gaussian mixture model. So this is, this is the value of the samplings from the quantum annealer because we can get, we can get output efficiently from the Gibbs-Boltzmann distribution if you use the quantum annealer. And let's move on to the second topic. So we consider the portfolio optimization problems. So in their world, in their portfolio optimization problems, the variables take discrete variables because the solution should have investment unit. So unit of the stocks. So therefore, we have to solve the optimization problems in discrete variables. But in practical, people solve, people relax the original discrete problem into uh, continuous variables because this problem is very simple to solve. <laughs> so we want to compare the performance of the optimization problems um, written in the continuous variables and in between in the discrete variables. And in practical problems, we set the cost of function in the quantum manera. So then we have to set some coefficient coming, stemming from the uh, data set of the stocks, markets. So for example, in the portfolio optimization problems, we set expected returns and the expected risks. So then we do not know two parameters. We have to estimate the parameters from the data set. So therefore, the precision of the estimation affects the performance of the, our returns. So therefore, we have to take care and we have to compare the performance of the expected returns from the difference between the true parameters and estimated parameters. Let's compare that. So then the result is here. The vertical axis denotes the difference between the expected returns between true parameters and estimated parameters. The color denotes how to solve these optimization problems. So in practical, people tend to solve the optimization problem by relaxation to the continuous variables. After that, they take the rounded because they want to get the integer solutions. So the green curve denotes continuous and rounded solutions. So gap is big. So this is a practical solution. But if you have quantum manera, you can directly solve the discrete variable optimization problems so the red curve denotes the result of the discrete optimization problems. The gap is very small. So therefore, you have to use quantum manera to get the money. OK? <laughs> so and the horizontal axis denotes the amount of the investment, how the investment amount. So you, if you have big money, you can <laughs> you can get uh, a, a large number of the stocks. So therefore, difference do not care, take care of the difference. 
But if you have a small amount of the investment, you have to take care of these differences. So you can see the value of the quantum annealing exists in finance, solving discrete problems directly. So especially for the clients with small investment. And of course, you know the robustness. Yesterday's talk, Tanahasan talk, so and uh, found in the, our collaboration with uh, the Denso Corporation. So uh, the solution from the quantum manila has robustness. Very good news. If you take the, some uh, different different management of the portfolio, does not matter. Does not matter. Okay. Let's move on. The second collaboration. Uh, of Tohoku University with NEC Solution Innovators. This is a uh, member of TSTAS. <coughs> so the NEC Solution Innovators are a software service company in Japan and um, keeps a challenging looking towards the future. <coughs> and they focus the themes toward the creation of the social value such as healthcare, smart city, and work style. So they perform some three applications by use of the quantum annealers. The first one is assignment problems of various workloads. So efficient, efficient, efficient assignment they want to seek and the buyers in equal workloads. So workers must take care of various types of the suppliers. So a number of the, uh, the number of the workers is very small, but they have to take care huge number of the suppliers. So we love the assignment problems in this topics. <clears throat> Before using the quantum annealing, they took about one month to assign work by hand. So based on skills, work locations, and work loads, something like that. So after using the quantum annealing, good news, quantum annealing automatically creates satisfactory assignments. And their formulation realizes not only recolorization of workloads, but also flexible design by changing the cost of functions, by changing the parameters, and satisfying requests from each worker. The second topic is very well known, so traffic flow optimization problem, so inspired by the Volkswagen's formulations for reduction of the traffic congestions, and they perform these optimization programs on real road map of Kawasaki city in Japan, where I was born. <laughs> so before using the quantum annealing, traffic flow is, con traffic jams is concentrated on the main roads, of course. So when each vehicle travels in the shortest route. So but after using the quantum annealer, so dispersing and reducing the traffic congestion, are the major laws, so good traffic flow they get. The third topic, third application of the quantum annealer is very unique. So multiple object tracking for vehicles. So to investigate traffic congestion in a large city by a number of cameras. So they took the images and the image series, image time series from the many, many cameras and find consistent movement of vehicles among different image data and among different cameras, consistent in times and consistent in areas. Some kind of the matching problems. So they solve the complicated matching problems by use of the quantum manipulation. So then uh, they investigate a huge number of the uh, images of the cars. <clears throat> so to support real time traffic control and traffic flow optimization in a large, large city. So they are in the stage of the real-time measurement of vehicles um, traffic using quantum manipulation. And the second and the third stage are like this, traffic prediction and traffic signal control using quantum manipulation. Please expect uh, their activities. <clears throat> the third collaboration with Tohoku University is Mitsubishi Electric. So this is, main, this is a member of the TSTAS, so done by the Yoshikawa-san over there. <laughs> so and the topic is air tra traffic control optimization on the airport. So optimization is required for over 100 flights. So that's not optimized, but of course, so 
safe. Number one, safe, endured, no problem, but not optimized. So therefore, we have to use quantum annealing on these topics. So before using the quantum annealer, in this case also, human air traffic control. Disaster for us. So and they take the three management, so three management here, so surface management, aircraft assigned to runway, and air arrival departure management assignment in some kind of the time schedule in runway, so and for the trajectory management in air. So uh, how to locate the path of the aircraft. So we have to take care of three management to the control of the air traffic, but human does, did. <clears throat> so after using the quantum annealing, okay, quantum annealer can do autonomous optimization of the air traffic control instruction, and we can realize real-time management and coordinated operations. Very good news. <clears throat> so let's move on the, our selves activities. So Sigma I. So Sigma I is a startup from Tohoku University. So they create quantum business in Japan. And uh, Sigma I performed many collaborations with many companies. The first one is Kosoku. Kosoku is a company on in the Sendai city, so and uh, which is a packa packaging materials companies. So they have uh, many types of the warehouse, and in the warehouses they have uh, many items and products to be sold. So we consider the location, optimal locations of the items in the warehouse, because so many people, many employees. Uh, pick up items and to the, uh, in front of the trucks. So therefore, frequent picking requires employees to walk around warehouse. Very tough task. Actually, I did. <laughs> I tested myself. Very hard task. So I want to optimize the location of the items in this warehouse. So the constructs, the cost of function uh, to optimize the location and uh, reducing the distance walk around in the warehouse. And uh, we take care of the alignment by product attributes and as well as uh, the supplement frequency. This is very important. So this is an example of the maps in the warehouse optimal item placement. According to this result, I replace items to the different space in the warehouse. Like today is the hot and humid. The second one is very impressive. So Sigma I creates original quantum business. So they create automatic system, automatic system to create a photo mosaic. So photo mosaic, you know the picture made from the many kind of the pictures. So in which each pixel is different pictures. So therefore, if you focus on this photo mosaic, you can see the other pictures. So this is a result of the quantum annealing solution contest competition held in Tohoku University. So Naoki Mariyama and Tomomasa, uh, Tomomasa Harakun uh, has made championship. So they are uh, uh, students of the Tohoku University and they are uh, uh, belonging to the uh, Sigma I. So anyway, so this is an example of the photo mosaic. So maybe a small number of the people know <laughs> the legendary animation in Japan. So Royal Space Force, the wings of the Oni Amis. So this is uh, some kind of the memorial year in the last year, in the last year, memorial year, so they made some digital museum. So then, in the top top page, we create photo mosaic art for this animation. So this is, I think, I believe in this is a first impact, artistic impact in the world because this photo mosaic 
created by the quantum annealing. Very impressive, I think. And this is actually in business. So that's quantum business. OK, the last topic is update of uh, our study. So you know the Tohoku University uh, was attacked to the uh, big earthquake 2011, and the Sendai City attacked, was attacked to the tsunami disaster. So therefore, I want to create some supporting system to evacuate from the disaster. So this project is, uh, this project is uh, uh, supported from the Ministry of the Culture, Sports, Education, and Sports and Technology in Japan, MEXT. So, and the project name is the Next Generation High Performance Computing Infrastructures and Applications R&D Programs. The leader is Professor Hiroaki Kobayashi. Kobayashi-san, who is where? <laughs> oh, yes, over there. <laughs> yes, he is leader. <clears throat> so anyway, so maybe you know, so the previous qubits, I think, held in Munchen. Munchen, so I presented by first attempt first challenge of the evacuation from tsunami. So inspired from the uh, cost function of the Volkswagen traffic optimization program, uh, we construct like this cost functions. The first term is minimization of distance to shelter spots. The second one is minimization of the cost uh, conflict probabilities between the different uh, evacuees. <coughs> And the third term is penalty term for selection of the candidates of the routes. So original formulation of the Volkswagen, uh, they prepare some candidates of the routes. For example, three candidates, the shortest pass, the second pass, the detour. <coughs> so therefore, uh, they impose some equality constraint. And to solve this problem, uh, we have to use the penalty term for selection of the loads. But this formulation has two bottlenecks. The one is how to create evacuee loads, the shortest path, the second path, or something like the tour. No, <laughs> strategic construction is very important. So therefore, we find better choice, better construction of loads for evacuees. The second bottleneck is penalty term. Maybe the participants of this conference, most of them use penalty method to endure the constraints. I know, but please avoid the penalty term because this is bottleneck to decrease the potential of the quantum annealer. The, the solution of the first bottleneck, the creation of the root candidates is, OK, find better roots again by optimization. So we, again, the construct the cost function for the selection of the roots, shaping the roots. So she denotes the shape of the roots in evacuates. So we, again, the slow the optimization problem for selection of the roots. <coughs> So this optimization problem also can be written in the cube form. So therefore, we can directly input the problem into the quantum manila. We can get better choice, better shapes of the loops for evacuation. So the horizontal axis denotes iteration of the calculation. The uh, vertical axis denotes the whole cost function. It, it, it is denotes the efficiency of the evacuation. So you see the gradually decreasing by iterative optimization. So you see the good evacuation uh, for, for, the, for the tsunami attacks. <coughs> and the, we, the solution for the second bottleneck in the evacuation by use of the quantum annealer. So you know, you know well, <laughs> weak point in quantum manera. So the quantum annealer so, uh, cannot realize the large strengths of the coefficient in, the, in their cost function, in their cube matrix. So therefore, do not use penalty method. Because 
coefficient in penalty method takes a large value, but in the quantum anilla, it has limits. And quantum anilla can search in the broad solution spaces two to the number of qubits. But if you take the penalty method, the solution space becomes narrow on the feasible solution space. So the penalty method degrees the potential of the quantum anilla. So therefore, we have to avoid the penalty method. But of course, I know, I know well, you want to solve the complicated problems, the integer programming problems. I know, but please avoid the penalty method by listening to the user's voices. So because our applications tested and we get trial user feedback in evacuation. In evacuation, they evacuate to the closest spot. So they do not take care of another route, <laughs> only shortest path. But in evacuation, we have to take care of the capacity of the shelter spots. OK, so therefore, only two choices, the closest, the second closest, while taking care of the capacity of the shelter spots. So which is better? So this is just binary variable, binary choice, binary optimization problems. OK, the quantum anilla reveals their potential. So we find the cost of function for realization of the tsunami evacuation, like this. So then we get the result for the large number of evacuees, actually. Yes. So the last slide <coughs> is Tohoku University, of course, university, so educational institute. So I, and we, um, run the, some educational business programs. So the, this, this year is the third year for the uh, programming of the quantum annealing and the quantum computing. The second, uh, two, two years ago, uh, we performed high quality education by professor for free charge on YouTube. So for example, volume one, four hours, nonstop lecture on YouTube uh, while receiving the several comments, various comments from the participants. The participants, 500 overs. So, and there, they understand the nature of the quantum annealing and how to use the quantum annealer, and they made 14 applications by use of the quantum annealer. Amazing. The last year, I challenged to use the gate model, gate machine, IBM Q. So, and uh, 300 over participants, and they made 15 applications and games by use of the quantum gate models. Of course, this year, the second, the lasting year, I continue this education program. If the web realized <laughs> quantum gate model uh, on, your, on your superconducting qubits, we use to educate Japanese people for using the quantum computers, of course. So as a summary, I will show the movies for demonstration and of our activities of Tohoku University. Please start my movie. Yes.
that's all. Thank you.